What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. If you didn't catch it, look at the bottom left real quick. Three in the magazine. And this is with the Hezen Vengeance with Overflow, which is normally a one mag and Overflow will take it to two. But as you see, we have three in the mag. And this is the real deal. I can shoot all three in a row. And in this video, I'll be showing you off how to do this. So as we stated, you need Overflow on the Hezen Vengeance. And this is pretty much the only non-primary in the game with Overflow on it. I didn't try it myself yet, but I'm sure this would also work with all the primary weapons with overflow on it. Just wouldn't be as cool. And by far the easiest way to do this will be on Hunter with Marksman's Dodge, which will reload the weapon when you dodge. And that is going to be important because the way this works is you have to reload the weapon and pick up a ammo brick for overflow at the exact same time. So what I do is make sure my rocket launcher is empty, make sure I have room to pick up the special brick and pretty much just dodge into it with my rocket out. And as we see in slow-mo here in a second, it pretty much just goes straight from 0 to 3. It doesn't go to 1, then 2, then 3. It does both the marksman dodge reload and overflows the weapon from the pickup at the exact same time. So when I first saw this, I was like, what else could you do this with? Is it just simply reloading the weapon at the exact same time as you pick up the brick? So if you like mainly reload the weapon and try to walk over the brick at the same time, would that work? And it does not. As you'll see, the manual reload always overrides whatever else you're doing. It'll take it back to one. So you have to do something like an auto reload and pick up the break at the same time for this glitch to work. So that limits obviously just doing a base reload and is why something like Marksman Dodge works. So on the other characters, what could you try? Well, with Warlock, you could do Trend versus Steps where you sprint for a while, then it'll reload your weapon from reserves. And this will work with this glitch, but it's extremely hard. Like I mentioned, you have to do the reload from traverses at the exact same time as you pick up the box so you just gotta sprint and kind of like know the distance and time them up almost perfectly and it is extremely hard the first time i did it on warlock i actually had a twitch stream playing in the background that is why this clip is muted so i tried to do it for like 30 more minutes to re-record it and i couldn't do it again it is that hard to sync up then on titan some ideas i had was using inertia override to slide through the ammo brick which will reload the weapon and obviously pick up the ammo brick that was my first thought. You could also do bottom tree for the melee, where whenever you melee a target, it'll reload the weapon. But that'll be a pretty hard step to do because you'll need the special brick in a certain spot, then an enemy pretty much right next to it. So ideally, inertia override would be the easier one to do. But as you see, the reload from inertia override is super delayed, as you can tell by the sound which means it doesn't work because they have to be perfectly synced up. So I think the only way you could try to do it on Titan would be with the bottom tree arc melee. And once again, that would be a pretty hard setup to do and definitely wouldn't be that consistent at all. So overall, the most consistent way is by far on Hunter. Pretty much if you just get right next to the ammo brick and just dodge into it, I'd say a good 50% of the time it works. And I found that if I lowered my FPS to 30, it made it very consistent. Like I was doing it at least every other try, which makes sense because you got to sync up both reloads at the exact same time. And obviously if you have less frames to choose from, it'll be a little bit easier. And looking at the rate of fire of shooting off all three rockets in a row, it takes 2.153 seconds. And we look at the damage on Carl with the best damage perk on the right, lasting impression. So for these two numbers right here, which means if you have the tripod glitch, you're still gonna be doing over 130,000 DPS, which is absolutely insane. Pretty much nothing else in the game can even get that high for burst, let alone three rockets from a rock launcher. Then after you shoot your first three shots, if you have a special brick on the ground, you can walk into to get two more in a row, which will allow you to do five in a row without reloading. Or if you're brave enough, you could even try to dodge into the second brick to get a three mag into another three mag. And I've already made a video on this rocket going over some DPS numbers, so you can go and watch that if you want to see some other things. But overall, this is a pretty cool glitch to indirectly get tripod back into the game. But the only way to consistently do it is on Hunter with Marksman Dodge. All the other characters are near impossible to do it realistically. And you'll probably run out of all of your ammo just trying to do it in the first place. But on Hunter, you can easily do this going into a boss fight and start with a 3 in the mag. So that is pretty cool. My code AIR is going to be 30% off on G Fuel through the 7th. So if you need to restock on your favorite flavors or try something new, this will be the best time to do it. Anyways, you can click the link in the comments description. It'll take you to the store and automatically apply my discount code. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.